Welcome to another Pharmaco video. Today let's discuss local anesthetics. Local anesthetics cause loss of sensation and pain in specific or local areas of the body. Some commonly used local anesthetics include benzocaine, lidocaine, bupivacaine, dibucaine, and tetracaine. They are different from general anesthetics, which induce unconsciousness in the patient. The original local anesthetic was cocaine, and most generic names for local anesthetics end in cane, such as lidocaine. Local anesthetics can be separated into two broad categories based on their structure, amino esters and amino amides. Amino esters have a shorter half-life because cholinesterase enzymes in the extracellular fluid break them down. Amino amides, however, are longer acting because they are mainly broken down by the liver. Local anesthetics are commonly used for minor surgeries and procedures. If you've ever had a root canal, tooth extraction, or fillings at the dentist, then you probably received a local anesthetic. Bupivacaine is long-lasting and is used in epidurals. It may also be injected into surgical wound sites to reduce pain for up to 20 hours after surgery. Lidocaine has a rapid onset and is used in many local procedures. It may also be administered as a lidoderm skin patch, which helps relieve postherpetic neuralgia due to shingles. Benzocaine is commonly used for surface anesthesia, for pain relief from minor burns, sunburns, skin abrasions, and insect bites. It may also be used in dentistry to numb the gingiva before lidocaine needle injection. Benzocaine is weakly absorbed through the intact epidermis, but more readily absorbed through larger breaks in the skin at highly vascularized sites. Be careful not to spray too much directly into deep cuts in order to avoid excess systemic absorption. Local anesthetics interfere with nerve impulses being sent to the brain by blocking sodium channels on nerve axons. In local anesthetic medications are amine groups, a nitrogen bound to three things. An important feature of local anesthetics is a lone pair of electrons associated with the nitrogen. Lone pairs make great bases. The drug is mixed with an acidic solution before injecting so that the tertiary amine is protonated and becomes quaternary. This makes the compound ionic and makes it suitable for injection. If it wasn't protonated, a precipitate would form inside the body. Once the protonated drug is injected, it dissociates due to the extracellular fluid being basic. Then the neutral compound passes through the plasma membrane and into the acidic intracellular space of the neuron, or it is protonated once again. Sodium voltage-gated channels allow sodium to come into the neuron so that the action potentials can be propagated. The protonated ionic local anesthetic binds to the inactivation gate of the sodium channel, keeping the channel closed. This prevents sodium from entering the cell, hence depolarization does not occur and action potentials can't be propagated. As a general rule, smaller neurons and less myelinated neurons are the first to be affected and the last to return to normal function. C fibers and alpha delta fibers that carry pain signals, as well as smaller diameter sensory neurons for touch, are the neurons most affected by local anesthetics. Neurons that transmit deep touch sensations, as well as motor neurons, are less affected because they are larger in diameter and have more myelin. These two characteristics make it more difficult for the local anesthetic drugs to get inside the neuronal cells and exert their action. OTC products with benzocaine come in many dosage forms, including ointment, cream, sprays, and patches. Bupivacaine is administered by extradural injection, which includes epidurals or cotyl blocks. Lidocaine is used for infiltration analgesia and is also used in epidurals. Lidocaine jelly can be used for catheter insertion and skin grafts. Epinephrine is commonly administered with local anesthetics. It is a vasoconstrictor and constricts blood flow locally where the anesthetic was administered. This prevents 
the anesthetic from going systemic and affecting vital organs like the heart. Epinephrine keeps the anesthetic confined to the surgical area. The vasoconstriction also keeps the anesthetic from being washed away by the blood to prolong the local anesthetic's half-life. At the bottom of the spinal cord, we find the cauda equina. It is here that spinal nerves exit the spinal cord to innervate the pelvis region and lower extremities. The bottom of the spinal cord is the conus medullaris and is located at the level of L2, or second lumbar vertebrae. When giving spinal anesthesia or spinal blocks, the needle penetrates the dura mater and enters the thecal sac. Spinal blocks must be administered below L2 in order to avoid penetrating the pia mater and damaging the spinal cord. Epidural blocks are also often administered below L2 to anesthetize the nerves associated with labor and delivery. But notice that the epidural does not penetrate the dura mater like the spinal block does. In situations when it is necessary to anesthetize nerves above L2, an epidural may be given above L2, since an epidural injection doesn't penetrate the dura mater. Remember that if the dura mater is penetrated above L2, there is danger of damaging the spinal cord. For this reason, a spinal block, which penetrates the dura mater, is not given above L2. Side effects of local anesthetics may occur when significant amounts of local anesthetic enter systemic circulation. These may include cardiovascular collapse, when the anesthetic affects the heart and convulsions as a result of CNS depression, which can induce a coma in some cases. Lastly, individuals sometimes get spinal headaches as a result of treatment. Lying down flat can help prevent spinal headaches. If a spinal headache does occur, a small amount of blood can be injected into the epidural space near the site of the original injection. This is called an epidural blood patch. Now for some questions. Pause the video now to determine your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.